What kind of what kind of dreams did you have as a little boy growing up of what you were going to do? Okay. There were three things that seemed to interest me. As a as a young boy, I sold newspapers, the Afro Pittsburgh Courier, I sold magazines, Liberty and others. And as a result of a contest to get new subscribers from the newspapers, I got a chance to go to New York City. And this was during the time of the the uh, World's Fair, the 39 World's Fair. I went through the Harlan Tunnel. I went over the Brooklyn Bridge. I saw the Empire State Building. I saw the George Washington Bridge. And I was just completely fascinated by these marvels. And I decided I wanted to become an engineer one day to be able to design something like this, something that would last, something that was of service, but something that would perform a, a purpose. And I could stick my chest out and say, yeah, I did that. Did you know any African-American engineers? No, not at that time. I knew some late. I got to know some later. So you didn't really yeah. have any no. role models. No. I mean, this was, no. and many people would have said, but you know, little black boys don't grow up to be engineers. Right. There's no right. precedent. Here. My godfather and his wife were at our home for a Christmas dinner, a Thanksgiving dinner, for uh, Easter. They had no children. And of course, they moved around quite a bit until uh, he finally retired in Washington. Uh, my godmother was my aunt's very best friend. So, uh, as a result, I was exposed to him quite a bit. And guess what he talked about whenever he was talking? He was talking to me about the Army, about living in the Philippines, or going to Spain, or uh, various army camps and things that they did, including West Point. But in particular, there was one person that he admired more than anyone in the whole world, and that was Colonel Charles Young, who finished West Point in 1889. And Colonel Young was one of only about four or five black officers in peacetime. Uh, and most of the others be the chaplains or doctors or surgeons, as they were called. So his ambition was that I would go to West Point. And, uh, was, that, was that your ambition, too, or just his? Well, uh, I thought about it quite a bit. But then, you see, when I got to high school, we had the cadet corps. I joined the cadet corps. In addition to working at night, I had to get to school two hours early for drill, and three went, times a week. You went to Dunbar High School. I went to Dunbar. With, which is a, obviously a very historic high school. And I became the cadet regimental commander, the colonel of the cadet corps. And the fellow who preceded me in my wife's class uh, went to Dartmouth for two years, and he went to West Point. But we had considered that perhaps we would have been roommates at West Point.